Oh, here we go. Wanted to get started a little early, make sure we're live for the top of the hour. When uh, Malegio comes through, this is the second stomp. On the Conflux Raid train. Uh, our second official one. Apparently, uh, Legion Cage and um, Benjamin have uh, plans to ramp it up in the future. I don't know what that that means exactly. I've just been watching Malegio and uh, playing Soldiers. And it was freaking amazing. Hey, Ryan! It's not a proper stream, buddy. It's, uh, and it's pff, even earlier than usual. Hey, Slick Mick, how you doing? How you doing, fellas? Thank you for joining me. I'm half asleep. I've not even showered yet. I'm just, I feel, ugh. But it's fine. <laughs> We're doing a quick two-hour stream. It is today. It's the, uh, the Conflux Raid Train. Uh, Malegio's just done the first slot. He's, um, he, you know, I just want to be live, ready to, uh, receive his raid. Um, um, yeah, he's, he's playing a fantastic looking game at the minute. It's so lovely. Um, I think uh, Squidge is over there with him at the minute. He'll be coming over here, and then the rest of the day we will be doing two hours. Uh, unless it, we could do whatever you want, essentially. I don't have anything planned. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess I'll, I was just, I get, I was like, oh, no, let's, I'll just run my mouth for a minute, and then, uh, like usual, uh, and then we'll just do a little bit on Dragon Age. I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't really, I didn't really give it much thought. Um, I was, uh, it's kind of a bit of a busy uh, day yesterday. Uh, didn't really get too much done. Uh, I need to, uh, you know, get more stuff done. Yeah, so after two hours from now, we'll f wrap up. We'll be uh, heading over to Tuba Swan. Um, and then, uh, well, you can see you can see the rest of the schedule in the conflux. Who's after Tuba? Yeah, t then uh, over to Sly, over to the Game of Avengers, Whitney, Cage, Scotty, doing community uh, stream. People want to get involved in that. Uh, Casual Mur, and then finally ending with Steph Babies, like 12 hours from now. So uh, <laughs> if you're around, do uh, check them out, even if you're in, even if you just go in there and harass them and say, Oi, his nib sent me. And he's, uh, he sends you a slap. Or something like that, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, cool, yeah, down in Florida, aren't you? But very, probably the most, um, the most piratey state of the United States, would you say? I guess it would be. Um, damn, yeah, sleep, mate. Yeah, so as long as it's mostly sunny, not too rainy. It's rained here all this week, so it's definitely cooled things down, um, which is uh, which is good. Um, might be heating up, yeah. Well, but uh, yeah, I'm, after we raid uh, two, bro, I won't be. I will be lurking for a bit. Um, I'll be in and out during the day. Um, Saturday's supposed to be my workout day because I was like, go. I went out last night in the evening. Um, and it's quite early. By the time I got up and just kind of settled myself, it, you know, I don't like, try, you know, I, I guess for normal human beings, I guess it's probably not an issue. <laughs> You've got two hours, get a workout in. Okay. I don't like working out on a time limit. Um, I, I prefer to, okay, I've got to get a workout in now. And it, however long it takes is that's how long it takes. But if I know that <laughs> I'm, I'm on the time limit, that kind of messes with my brain a little bit. I don't know. So I did a little bit, but it wasn't. It definitely wasn't a full workout. So I'm gonna have to double up today, which means put go, putting back some other stuff I need to take care of. But so be it. So be it. I need to uh, need to uh, need to get on it. <laughs> Partying hardly, hardly sleep, make. Uh, Pool Tom, excellent. Um, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, exactly, exactly, Ryan. I'm not that I'm, uh, I'm not some kind of exercise freak anyway. But it's just um, like I'm constantly like, looking at the clock. I'm like, okay, got to do this quickly. Two hours. Oh, 
an hour and a half before I got to jump in the shower. And uh, I don't know. It's fine. I'll make up for it today. I'll try to. Yeah. I don't set myself a time. I don't even... I mostly don't even count reps or anything, Sleep Mick. I just, um... I'll just... I won't, I won't go to failure. But I'll, uh... Try and do a bit more. And it depends on the day. And it depends on the exercise. Some days you do more. Some days you do a lot less. But, um... I, for me to feel like a good, it's a good workout, I need to feel like I've uh, earned, earned it. Earned it? I don't know what I'm saying. Um, but no, I, I just went to visit my mum. My mum's is like a stone's throw away. Uh, and it's just, she did a barbecue. My God, the food was good. Uh, and, you know, I just um, I don't drink alcohol frequently. Rarely, in fact. I think you could use the term rarely. And I, um, you know, I wasn't drunk and I'm not hungover today, but I don't know, I guess I feel a little, <laughs> and I, obviously, um, I'm streaming on a day, which is supposed to be a day off and I'm streaming one hour earlier than I would be usually anyway. So it's a little bit, Hey, <laughs> Melagio. with the resub as well. God, he's doing it all. You don't do that. Squidge. How you doing? Oh, there you go. Now it pops off. How you doing, sir? There we go. Second stop on the Conflux raid train. I hope you were... I hope your stream was good, Malegio. No need to hang around, because obviously... I assume you doing it that early, buddy. Meant that you'd been at work all night. So if you want to get off to bed, so you go. Um... Welcome in there, folks. This is uh, yeah, I, was, I caught a bit of it. I was uh, I was lurking on you from um about forty five minutes in, but I was like, I just woken up. I was sorting myself out. Uh, God, that soldiers, what a nice, lovely little game. My God, those um, indie uh, you know, pixel art. Metroidvanias, and they don't, they don't always have to be Metroidvanias, but just kind of that presentation of a game like that, so appealing. And you were right what you're saying, uh, Maggie. I caught a bit of it at the end there with um, the art style, the nostalgia. Yeah, I don't know why anyone would look at that and go like that. Soldiers with those bright colours, far more appealing to me than like something that's just trying to be a bit more edgy. It's like, ooh, look at my palette of grey. It's like, oh, grey. What's your favourite colour, bro? Oh, grey. Is it? Is it really? Not hating on grey? Grey's what? My shorts are grey. I've got grey vests. But, it's your favourite colour. I mean, what's going on? Red mage! Let's talk about favourite colours right there. But guys, yeah, if anyone here who doesn't know Malegio, God, do yourself a favour. Uh, gentleman and a scholar and uh purveyor of um retro in retro and and mostly nowadays retro inspired new games of the metroidvania uh um persuasion for the most part he do, he's also a pixel artist as well he's um all round excellent uh excellent dude cannot uh recommend him enough so i'll come in folks seven good morning to you seven my god this is early, early Sunday morning. And then some. It was a big conflux raid train. Yes. Good morning to you. I don't know what we're doing here, Seven. Well, I don't, I don't know. We're doing the conflux raid train. <laughs> uh, it's just Sunday morning. It's not really. It's not even morning here. It's just. It's afternoon. It's just. Uh... <laughs> How you doing, Red Mage? This is weird streaming on Sunday again. Um. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you have like a bit of a toned down background, Malegio, yeah, of course, it can uh, make things pop a bit more. But um, when they're going for like, uh, I don't know, realistic or e e edgy or I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, thank you. Um, it's lunchtime. <sighs> for, for a normal adult human being like you, uh, Squidge, I mean, I use the term, the word normal. In the best possible way. 
yes, it's <laughs> it is lunchtime for me. Who was uh, I wasn't getting drunk, but I was drinking um and smoking. Not too much. I only had two cigarettes. Uh, and uh, eating a lot, eating maybe maybe too much. I don't know. I don't know. I feel with the uh, twenty-four hour intermittent fasting that you can't eat too much, or maybe you can. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Um, yeah, exactly. In the best possible sense of the word, Scrooge. Not like normal as in boring. Um, yeah, I had the little chicken last night, and that when I say a little chicken, I mean a little bit of chicken. I don't mean I had a very a whole very small chicken that's not what i mean red mage um but yeah probably did give me a bit of a plus one strength probably um ryan has been at work for five out ryan i mean i guess one advantage Ryan, is you're the boss aren't you so but bro what the something about uh crazy early shift on a sunday i suppose um but nobody wants to be there and because of that it's almost slightly more relaxed obviously i don't know what exactly ryan does for a living so i can't comment on that specifically um yeah that's good that's good um yeah i mean the 12 hours is still good red joe definitely if you you know if you um you know if you're just having like uh two meals a day and spread out that's definitely good yeah i just started um i think it's a week and a half ago now i started the 24 hour fast um i'm definitely feeling better for it i feel yeah yeah now see i'm like a bit hungry in the uh in the morning but you know most mornings now it's just a case of um get ready to stream do the stream the fun bit and then at the end of the stream i can eat so it's like it's not it's not like it's bothering me. It's not like it's a thing that I'm uh, too concerned about. Uh, it seems to be working well so far. Um, add burgers as well. Squidge. Rare treat. Um, world's decay. Of course you can sit here. The, the world's do be de on the decay at the minute. It's a bit of a thing, isn't it? But thank you. Did you come... Uh, world's decay. Did you come in with... Um, let Joe's raid there. Um, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, maintenance crew for building jets. Okay. So one advantage to that, Ryan. I assume it's basically just like a, the uh, the plant, the factory is just running 24-7. You've just been lumped with that shift. Um, for better or worse. Uh, and... Um, excellent. Yeah. Now, I would say World of Decay... Yeah, sorry, one thought at a time. Um, so, one advantage, Ryan, is you're not dealing with the public. To me, that makes the world of difference in my own experience. But still, don't work too hard, sir. Excellent. Um, now, I would say World of Decay. If you like Malejo, you like me. But, uh, no, that's not... <laughs> Malejo is far more awesome than I am. Um, but I appreciate the follow anyway, my friends. Uh, we are just doing... I don't usually stream on Sundays now. We are just part of the long Conflux raid train today. This is our second stop. Uh, in two hours from now, we will be raiding Tuba Swan, and then it goes on through there throughout the day. All the details are on the Conflux. Draco, how you doing, bro? Uh, Mike, how's it going? Uh, hey! Uh, you didn't get a job at B&M, Mike. That's fine, because you... I mean, I guess you'd want a day job, but that's not the one you wanted. Uh, that's fine. Interview on Monday. Tomorrow bright and early 9 30 oh. good luck to you sir prep do some push-ups or something mike yeah get all yeah it's a fine line doing interviews job interviews you have to get the balance between having utmost confidence when you walk in there um but i i i can take it a bit too far sometimes and i have in the past where you like you walk in there and you act like you own the place you're like yo Right, when do I start? Uh, you, you're going to make me the manager, right? Because obviously I know better than all you fools. Uh, and they're, they're looking at me like, what? What, buddy, what? I don't say those words exactly, obviously. But <laughs> it's kind of been in situations like that before. 
Red Mage, thank you for the low. Um, what's yeah? What's he doing? He's putting peanut butter in a burger. I don't know. But I love peanut butter, but I don't know if I want a, a a beef burger patty with some peanut butter. Peanut butter can work good with chicken. I don't know. Also, I wouldn't. I don't know. Sounds crazy. Yeah, Draco, don't know. Yeah, chicken satay. But but beef burger. I don't know what stick mix on at the minute. On the bun as a to as topping. Well, you know, yeah, a condiment. I'll just I'm just I'm, I'm when it comes to burgers for me, I'm a basic bitch. Just give me a cheese slice, American cheese slice, tomato ketchup. Uh and it, you know, if there's like a bit of salad or uh, onions or something with it. I'm 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 down with that. That's all I need. I don't need uh Pearson Perk. <laughs> Unfortunately, Red Mage. I mean Pearson's doing alright. I'm sure he's still selling burgers in his shop, isn't he? Um Yeah, Squidge, yeah. Yours a bit more uh up upmarket from mine, but similar idea, definitely. Um Oh Oh damn. Well, it's decay. I did. My friend, I didn't. We've never met. Uh, I did not know you were Malegio's older brother. Now, I don't know what uh, awful things he's told you about me, but <laughs> I can tell you this. Um, so, um, although uh, Malegio is your actual brother, and he's not my actual brother, I do think of him as one. Um, I've got the utm utmost respect for him uh, as a man and as a, a fellow streamer. And. Um, We've had uh, some long involved uh, discussions before now and uh, we don't agree on everything, but we uh, were both gen worldly gentlemen, I'd like to think. And uh, we, uh, we understand the importance of, uh, you know, getting along with people, even if you don't, even if you don't agree with everything, which seems to be a bit of um, some parts of the world, the culture seem to be going in the opposite direction. Uh, which is a problem. I think we need to push back against it a little bit. There's some people who believe, oh, if you disagree with me, you're scum and you should die and you're wrong and also I'm going to kill you and you should die. And you're like, well, that's, that's not helping anyone. We're not at war. We've got World War Three looming. We shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves as well. But, <laughs> but bro, yeah. So, um, as World's Decay, as Malejo's brother, if you ever need anything from me, you uh, get at me anytime. Um, you know, I've been on a different time zone. It might be the middle of the night or something. I won't get back to you immediately, but I'll definitely get back to you. Um, yeah, what is that? Uh, I'll slip make for a second. Let me look at this. It's, I'm sure it's great. Okay, so that peanut butter there. Um, it, it, it looks more like a peanut butter flavor sauce than peanut butter itself, if that makes sense. Unless you just, I'll just get something. I wouldn't. If I, you know, if you gave that to me, sleep me. Could you serve that to? I'll serve that in the restaurant. I would. I'm sure I would eat. I would eat it, and I'm sure I would love it. It just um. I don't know. Uh, I would just probably want it separate. <laughs> it looks like the picture looks fantastic though. Um. You need to go red mage. You go take care of get that plus one chicken. Um. Yeah, no, it got greed squidge. It does, doesn't it? Um. Yes, world's decay. Yes. Yeah, you have to. You have to. It's um. Yeah, it's just um. I'm very um. There's a lot of um. Social justice is very important and is something we should fight for. But there seems to be a lot of people in today's society who are fight who are fighting, they believe, for social justice, but they take it to a, an extreme degree. Um, you know, where it's like you, they, they go too far with it. And this is one example, and this is uh, out of the bounds of this particular stream and conversation. But you know, Antifa, the anti-fascists. How do they fight against anti-fascism? By basically being fascists. <laughs> It's like, oh, I hate fascists. And if you disagree with me, I'm going to punch you in the face. I'm going to smash you in the face with this bike lock. It's like, oh, um, I 
think the best thing to do for you to help would actually be just take a, a long, hard look in the mirror. I think that would be the first thing to do. <laughs> you know, I'm not as... um. I'm not as worldly as, you know, like Gandhi, Jesus. You know, I'm not going to turn the other cheek. You know, and if everyone did, if everyone if everyone in the world followed Jesus' example, then, um, you know, that might, it might work. But nobody's, not everyone's going to do that. Yeah, and anyone who's new to me, like, oh, religious. No, I'm not a religious guy. I just, uh, you know. Exactly. And that's a problem, Ryan. Because by definition, we're going to have a difference of opinion. The rational and sane thing to do is to discuss that difference of opinion, debate them, you know, in the public forum, uh, analyze them, scrutinize, you know, yours and others. Yeah, not just and just scrutinize other people's beliefs, scrutinize your own as well, you know. Uh, and you know, and if it doesn't balance out, if it doesn't weigh up, then abandon it. You know, move on. Is we are, we are not our ideas, folks. Ideas are things that just uh, happen to us. <laughs> You know, um, yeah, 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 totally, totally worlds. Yeah, I would, I mean, it sounds funky. And then that picture that Mick showed there, oh, actually, that looks pretty tasty. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> you'd be fucked, would you, Stefan? How so? When I'll get my hands on you. Oh, 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 calm yourself, is too early in the day for that. Um, what you mean? Because uh, that's, that's how you fight fascism by pu by punching it in the face. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, you know, if you uh, if you do a bit of time traveling, and you uh, you, ha you stumble across a, a concentration Nazi concentration camp, and they're about to like gas some Jews, and you can stop the guy hitting the gas switch, you probably do that definitely. Um, but uh, you know. If you're if you're against something, you shouldn't use that thing. You know, it's like um, it'd be like <laughs> it'd be like if you're anti firearms and then you uh, used a firearm to go and kill everybody who own, uh, everybody else who owns a firearm. You'd be like, eh, eh, really, eh. Um, yeah, hundred percent worlds. Yeah, definitely. The only, the only, um, the only thing for us to do, I believe, we all need to, we all need, I'm um, now he's away at the minute, he's Slick Mick, he's gone on, a, he's on a vacation. But when he gets home, we all need to go to Slick Mick's house and he needs to make us these peanut butter sauce of burgers. And then we shall have a, we should judge. So, uh, uh let us know when you're back home. Slick Mick, because we're all we're all coming round. I know you don't know about this, but you do now. So there we go. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exact exactly, Draco. Uh, comic, how you doing, buddy? Um, yeah, no, but I'm not uh, religious at all. Uh, and when I was younger, I was very anti-religion, against organised religion. Um. I'm a bit more of a pragmatist in my old age, and um, I think there's a lot of good from religion, and there's also a lot of bad. Uh, it's trying to take, it's trying to extract the good from the bad. Whether Jesus was a real guy or not, I do not know. Um, how he is presented, of uh, you know, being an enlightened being, I uh, it's hard to dislike him it's like yes technically jesus you may not be doing yourself any favors but your approach to existence is the correct approach and if everybody were to adopt it follow your example then the world would be a better place but um you know we'll see how we'll see how we go um <laughs> yeah draco it doesn't matter they're not random all uh fellows and associates of the isnib show um then uh we're like yo he'd be like what are you, what are you guys doing now i'd be like what you, t you told us to come around for burgers mate he's like i'm just about to go to work i was like you ain't now are you <laughs> he, he wouldn't be impressed he's a good guy slip mate 
But I don't think he'd be too impressed if we all just turned up at his uh, doorstep. <laughs> um... Yeah, Seven, if you're um, interested to learn more in the future. Um, yeah, no, exactly. Exactly. I'll, I'll be, you know, I'll believe for the most part they were intended to, uh, you know, because they didn't have internet back then. Most people didn't even read. There wasn't books. There wasn't anything. There was just some, some people had an idea and spoke to some other people. That's, that's that's all that happened. It wasn't um wasn't much of a thing, was it? Um Um Yeah, Buddhism specifically, uh comic, yeah, definitely I feel so. Um Yeah, and it depends what uh It depends how specific or hard line. If you take the Bible at its uh at face value, then it is very contradictory. It, none of it really makes sense. Um, yeah, that's that's bullshit. Um, that's like child abuse, as far as I'm concerned. Comic. If you take a five year old kid, you force them to go to church, and they are told by authority, adults, but an authority greater than adults. We're the church. You know how you have to play, you have to bend your will to your parents. Well, your parents have to bend their will to us. We are the ultimate authority, church, and we tell you, little kitty. If you don't do exactly what we tell you, then you're going to hell. What's hell? Oh, it's awful. Let me tell you all about it. Yeah, no wonder. Uh, no wonder this, you know, all of the uh, re religious abuses we've had over the centuries and still continue to die when you've got that kind of level of control over people. Um, um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Draco, yeah. And tra different translations and all sorts of things, isn't it? It's um, I mean, it's not to say there's not some wisdom there, but you have to pass it. You have to pick through it. You have to, you know, you have to cut out the nonsense, and then you have to tr in try to interpret what was being said. Um, yeah, Bible Belt. Yeah, yeah, I've heard a bit about it. Uh, worlds. Yeah. God, it's, it is. It's like, God, being a small child and being told stuff like that, it, it can mentally scar you for life. Um, mm. And I agree with that wholeheartedly, so be a good person when you can. That's all it amounts to. That's all you have to do. Uh, of course, the, the issue is... Um, the problem with that is everyone's got a different idea of what it means to be a good person, don't they? And then people get it in their head like, oh, well, you know, it's not, it's okay to do a little bit of bad because of all the good I did, you know, and all that. And it's like, eh, it gets so messy and muddy. Um, and some of the, oh my God, comic, that's awful. Yeah, it happens far too often. And obviously the uh, Catholic Church, uh, you know, the uh, arguably the main perpetrators of this, but it happens in not every single religion, of course. But um, and it's not just it's not just a religious thing. You know, you get people who abuse uh, their authority and abuse people in various ways in all walks of life. It's you just gotta you gotta just look, keep an eye out. There's too much. Um, there's too much bad stuff has already happened. What are we going to do about it? Yeah, Squidge, you're right. Of course, of course you're right, Squidge. It doesn't, does it? It, ta it takes more effort to do harm than it does to not do harm. So everyone should just chill. If everyone just chilled, you know, it wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, I've heard so I've heard of some Mormons that are freaking amazing, uh, Seven, and I've heard of some Mormons that are really, really not. Uh, you know, but you can say that about any religion, I'm sure. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> I don't believe in demographics being racist, comic. Individuals are racist, or they are not racist. You know. So to say that the most racist people are white Catholics, I would I would need you to provide a source for that. Like who, who's who's decided that? That sounds a bit, you know, uh, <laughs> a little, uh, you know, because I I know white people who are Catholics who are not racists. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Uh, how, how, how do you uh, decide that? Thank you, Squidge. I appreciate that greatly. Uh, <laughs> uh, indeed, indeed. What have we got? An hour and a half. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, I know the name of the Quakers, but I don't know uh, too much about them. Okay, that sounds interesting, Seven. Hmm. Yeah, I would, uh, Draco, I would classically probably describe myself as an atheist. Now I feel I'm more agnostic, but, um, I find the whole thing fascinating. Just, li uh, listen to people's beliefs and stuff like that. Um, um, sorry, the largest percentage of what racists, seven, but actually, how do you determine a racist? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> There's no... It's not like... You, uh... You know, you do a... You do like a... a take a blood sample and go... Oh, let me... Mr. Smith, we have the results back of your racism test. Um, you are racist. What? A am I? Yes, the test says so. <laughs> the fact that you just also happen to be white and religious has nothing to do with it. Do you, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Um, it's not... You know, I don't know. It's a problem. It's just like you just don't do it. It's very easy, folks. You just treat everybody as an individual. You pay no heed to any factor about their, you know, c character of who you are is inside. The fact that I'm male, I'm white, I'm uh, British, uh, I'm in my late thirties, I have short hair i have tattoos um any other you know i like video games i'm a streamer whatever that doesn't define me that's not who i am they're just things that i am that i turned up and society was like oh yeah you're this thing I'm like okay if, if you say so doesn't mean anything to me but if you say so you know it's, it's, i stick your label on me that's fine if, if, if you need if you need to do that i'm just an individual as as we all are, um, um, what's well, so, this? Seven uh, women be poisoning people on average. Um, uh, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exact, exactly, Draco. It's uh, you know. Now, what, you, like, what I mean is, you, there could be an, um, say, an individual act of uh, racism, whether that's just someone being very unpleasant or an actual physical attack, and we all here go, "Oh my God, that guy, full-blown racist," but in his own mind, he's not. He's just like it'll, it'll make something up or whatever. There's no test for it. It's it's consensus, isn't it? So unfortunately, you can't do a consensus of the uh the whole you know you can't you can't do a census of the whole world and be like oh here's the list here's the list this is the one percent of the population that are racist and uh now what do we do well yeah now what do you do um <laughs> um you can measure hate crimes um can you seven i don't know you don't have to educate me on this maybe not right now but you can you can later certainly we can now. I don't know if we're going to. <laughs> uh, voting records. I mean, 
Okay, I'm not sure if I follow entirely. Um, really, not literally, but proverbially, worlds. Okay. Yeah, that's some bullshit, isn't it? People need to um, find a hobby or something. You can ask people. I'm not. Sh I'm still not sure if I'm following seven. <laughs> Uh, so if you if you ask a person who did you vote for, that measures hate crime. Like I say, I'm not not really following, but uh, um, yeah, no, but that, what, that's what I'm saying. If uh, yeah, how do how do you determine if something is a hate crime? That's a matter of opinion, isn't it? Um, you know, for example, let's say a random white dude kills a random black dude. And you go, oh, that's a hate crime. Maybe the reason he killed him was nothing to do with him being black. But then it's then it's not a hate crime, is it? You see what I'm saying? Now, we the only reason we know, the only way to determine that is inside the murderer's brain. We can't get inside the murderer's brain. You see what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, if, if, if of course, if the murderer comes out, and we go, murderer, why did you kill that guy? And he's like, oh, because of the color of his skin. Then, then that's a hate crime, obviously. That's the reason. But if he's like, oh, yeah, he, he, he picked my pocket. He stole my wallet. Then you go, that's a kind of an extreme thing to do. Someone's stealing your wallet. And he's like, oh, okay. And you're just a crazy person, isn't he? Um, you know, does that make sense? Um, I do not know much about American politics at all. Seven, I, I, I do not. I, I thank, I, I never claim to. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. That's a, yeah, good example, good example. And some people would say that's extreme. You know, if your girlfriend cheats on you with another man, and then you go kill that other man, and then people go, "Oh, that's a hate crime," and he's like. I mean, it's hate in the sense that I hate my I <laughs> I hate that he shagged my wife. Yeah, I, yeah, I hated him. <laughs> I, mean, I would say you probably shouldn't take that stuff personally. Um, but that's the problem, isn't it? You know, who's who's judging these statistics? You know, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, because it clearly does. I'm just saying uh, we need to. We need to, uh, you know, just be, uh, take a step back and look at everything, analyze everything. Um, um, that, that literally happens, does it, Seven? Okay, well, there you go. And that's a not, that's an obvious one, isn't it? You can obviously chalk that up. Um, um, so you've got an, an, an established neo Nazi group near your school. Jeez, comic. Um, Yeah, there you go. There you go, comic. Yeah, so you would so you would kill the guy. Would you care the, what colour of skin he had? No, you wouldn't. You'd be, that, that's not even a factor. That's I, I don't give a shizzle. Um, um, yeah, no, yeah, exactly. There we go. So that, agreed. Agreed, seven. Agreed. If people are doing that, then they're psychopaths and they're, they're, they're broken individuals. You know, don't discriminate. You know, hate everybody. Kill everybody. It's <laughs> joking. Clearly joking. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Draco. It's, I, don't, I don't watch news. I don't follow news of uh, television news. Newspapers are they even a thing. I guess I have newspaper websites now. It's all websites. Um, social media. I don't pay any attention to any of it because it is almost exclusively bullshit. Um, um. But anyway, I, I think we've maybe we possibly have we set the world to rights. I don't know. I don't know. I do know we haven't. <laughs> Uh, 
But yes, we're, we're, this is not what we're here for. We're here just to uh, uh, prep the uh, Conflux Raid train. Yes, stop two. Wonderful Malegio. It's very um, very nice of Malegio to offer to do the first slot because obviously the first slot, you're just you're just kicking off. You're not you just start in the raid train. Does that make sense? You're not you're not having anybody raiding into you. You're like the you're the engine. You're the first carriage. And this uh, or garage, carriage. <laughs> it's like ga garage garage. There you go. Uh, so good on you, Mlejo. Crazy early for you as well. Um, <laughs> purple with pink spots. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, if they had some like, infectious disease, then yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, Mlejo, good on you. No, yeah, it's. I, I just. Uh, you know, because we're still early. I'm sure it'll be, you know, we're going to be, uh, it's going to be much busier throughout the day. Um, but yeah, good on you, Mlegio. But anyway, folks, um, I didn't really have anything planned today. Uh, it's not usually, I say, it's not usually my streaming day anymore. Um, we're just doing a, a short one. Two hours. Two hour slots on the, on the train. Um, was that how it was, Mlegio? I can't even remember. That sounds about right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get into Dragon Age two. Uh, we've done two streams on it so far. No, two. Yeah, two streams on it so far. Yeah, we had a, a very busy and interesting week on the Snip Show. Monday to Wednesday, we did our uh, first playthrough, my first playthrough of Parasite Eve. Uh, highly recommend it. It's um retro cult classic. It deserves to be up there on the shelf with um you know all those other Golden Age classic games. I don't feel it's quite as good as um, Resident Evil, but um, yeah, Draco, there is. If you uh, if you join our server, the Conflux, um, if you if you want to, or you know, I think I've also re retweeted it on uh, Twitter. If you prefer or use Twitter, um, you can find the details of it. Yeah, so. Uh, an hour and 20 from now, I'll be raiding into Tuba Swan, uh, who's going into Slight of Game, Game and Avengers, uh, Witch Whitney, Legion Cage, EBC 2021, Casual Mer, and then finally ending with Steph Babies. Um, each of us are uh, doing two hour slots. Everyone's doing various things. Liz! <laughs> Thank you. Liz! I'm like 11 months, Liz. Bless you, Liz. Thank you so much. I don't deserve you, Liz. Uh, how's your Sunday going, my dear? Are you all right? How's life treating you, Liz? Oh, you're well. Um, yeah, stupid me. Did I go and change it from... Sorry, let me get you... <laughs> I changed the uh, Discord command to Conflux instead of thinking I was being clever. But let me get... <laughs> let me get the Discord... Let me add in the Discord one as well. Sorry about Draco. Here we go. Uh, I swear to God, I'm a genius. Y'all know this. But how you doing, Liz? Thank you for that uh, that resub there. I do appreciate it. She's a good one, is Liz. I'm resting on Book Dragon. Here we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically an idiot. I don't know why um, I just keep both. Yeah, because people are going to be more likely to think, oh, yeah, I want to type in Discord. Obviously. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> you got add new command. New command. Discord. I can spell as well. That helps, doesn't it? Is that working? It should be working. Yeah, Drake, I'm an idiot. I literally just changed it like t 10 minutes ago. And I'm like, hang on a minute. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense, does it? Uh, <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so that should work, hopefully. I've just done that. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, no, there's no, no pressure to take part or anything, Draco. But if you, uh, that's where we are 
all based out of of based out of 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 what am i even saying uh, <laughs> is that oh i know english englishman speaking english that's what i do i don't like the letter t apparently so it's claimed it's just i respect it too much to use it uh <laughs> my life here we go okay i just want to update um panel down there like a genius um no perfect ledger i do want to do a bit a little bit of dragon age but <laughs> i like to um just let everyone uh while out a little bit and just kind of um make sure i've uh said hello to everyone covered every every possible discussion or uh or topic that you know needs to be addressed obviously we're not a just chatting stream here necessarily we can be in the uh future if you know depending on what's coming up i know uh scotty's got a bunch of stuff coming up uh with that kind of stuff in the future eh, it's old squidge got my reference there my uh, early early sunday morning <laughs> Excellent. Squidge is lurking at the minute. I don't think anyone's uh uh knew what that was, but <laughs> I do like that. Um there we go. But yeah, no, Melegio, you know, we were all that's the beauty of our community, isn't it, Melegio? Uh based around out, in and out of the conflux is um We've all got extreme similarities and we've all got extreme differences, yet we come together um to be greater than the sum of our parts, I feel. Um I do not hate tea. At all. Seven. And I'll maybe I'll prove it to you one day. Maybe. <laughs> Going to shops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, that's why it works, isn't it? It's perfect. It's perfect. We're, 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 we are where we're where we're meant to be. It took a bit. And it's always... um. Don't behave on my account, Seven. I'm st I'm waiting for you to misbehave, aren't I? Basically. Um, but I, I don't know. I've been accused of being a tease, uh, Seven. So don't get too invested. I've got emotional issues. Uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, got a bit of a book login. Oh my god, Liz, you no no one does books like you, Liz. This is uh this is how it goes. Anyway. Um Yeah, anyway, yes, Parasite Eve, recommend it. Anyone who's not played it, if you like PS1 games, if you like survival horror, if you like JRPGs, uh there's nothing really I've exactly like I've ever played it before it's um it's worth a look it's a bit of a, it's not a perfect game it's a bit awkward and janky in some regards but it's perfectly playable and it is a lot of fun you will not have really played anything like it so i'm very glad thank you to not that guy ryan he uh one of our executive producers of this show he uh he chose for us to play that and i'm very glad he did we are then we started up um dragon age 2 uh several weeks ago months not several months, maybe a few months, several weeks ago. We uh we played and completed Dragon Age Origins, seventeen streams on that. We uh we got our money's worth out of that. Uh, and it's fantastic. I'm a fan of the Dragon Age games. Not everyone's cup of tea, but um, I uh I'm definitely into them. They're a lot of fun. There's a lot to them. You know, modern Western RPG. Uh, you know, high fantasy. Very cool. Very interesting. Um, and we started the uh, the second one. Now, I, f I personally feel the second one is the weakest out of the trilogy. We're talking about tiny degrees. You know, it's like, what's, like, what's your... Oh, was that, that was going to be crude. I was, you know, what's your f third favourite flavour of ice cream? You know what I mean? Are you, are you unhappy to have it? You know what I'm saying? Uh, but having said that, uh, the two streams we've done it on Thursday and Friday is... Um, it has improvements over the first game. Um, it's kind of... Uh, in some ways, it's streamlined quite a lot. Which is not a bad thing. 
Um, there are some drawbacks to it, which I have mentioned. They do kind of copy and paste some um, peripheral zones, like, ran like random dungeons, random areas where you go to, which is not, it's not like a real area, if that makes sense. It's um, underground passage, you know, or whatever. And then underground passage will be uh, the exact copy and pasted to, uh, you know, um, abandoned warehouse. <laughs> and they'll be like the same area. Exactly. And you're like, eh, that's a bit lazy. But, um, you know, we're talking minor degrees here. Um, uh Your mini diary. God, this is a... <laughs> in, in, yeah, indeed, Red Mage. Um, respect, Liz. Liz, no, I don't think I've ever met anyone dedicating to the um, consumption of uh, literature than uh, Liz. This is coming from a guy who worked in a library for over 10 years. You might be the one, Liz. Um, Yeah, we don't have time to listen to this is but anyway so let's get on with dragon age 2 uh we're currently uh to let you know what we're i won't fill in the story um i'll tr maybe give you the broad strokes we play are playing as marion hawk hawk is a refugee with her family we're from ferelden to escape the blight we're in a, a city called kirkwall which is on the other side of the sea in an area called the free marchers uh we the family ancestrally used to be like nobles here and have a like uh, an estate our stupid uncle stole it from our mother and then sold it and like basically lot has lost all the money he's an idiot I hate him i don't think he deserved to die but i don't know if we can forgive him um and yes yeah, so it's a different vibe so in the first game you uh you have the weight of the world thrust up on you you have to uh Oh, by the way, player, you are the one person who, who can and has to save the world, basically. And you're like, oh my god, Dragon Age 2, completely different vibe. It's on us to get some money. That's what we got to do, we got to get some money. <laughs> basically, the thing they'll do is to buy our old estate back, work hard to get money to buy our old estate back, to just have somewhere to live. Now, maybe there's going to be some more epic stuff coming up in the near future. I don't know. We shall see. I, I don't remember the the game too well in that regard. I don't. I certainly didn't remember it as well as the first game, but we shall see. Um, our main way to do that, we've met a dwarf called Bartrand. He is r running an expedition into the deep roads. The deep roads are kind of like um, underground dungeons where the dwarfs used to live, which has now been taken over by Darkspawn, which are the scary monster guys um but because of that there are you know all sorts of um, you know treasures and uh hidden away secrets and things that have been lost for centuries uh that anyone brave or stupid enough to go into the deep roads who knows we're gonna find so we're going along with this expedition but we need to buy on to the expedition to be got a partner in it you know not rather than just a, a hired helper Oh, there's your wages. That's all you're getting. To get a share of anything we find, we have to invest in it. 50 gold. Doesn't sound like a lot, but gold in Dragon Age is a lot of money. You have uh, copper, silver, and gold. 100 coppers, one silver. 100 silvers, one gold. Like that. So uh, I think we're like about halfway there. We've just been running around doing odd jobs for people. Mercenary work. We're just straight up mercenaries. We do not say no to any work that's a bit on the shady side a little bit illegal that's fine as long as we're not it's not outright murder we're not hired killers mostly but it depends on the situation uh <laughs> so uh, we're kind of building a rep for ourselves getting a bit of a name in kirkwall and um as a reliable uh you know a, a reliable mercenary and uh we just say it's just a case of doing work building our rep 
and um, getting some money so we can go on this expedition. I think uh, I think that's basically covered it. Um, Yeah, seven. I um I know nothing about baseball, but I did watch a couple of months ago the uh there's a doc a long involved documentary about the Seattle Mariners, which actually um Professor Sean requested that I watch, and uh, it was fascinating considering my complete lack of knowledge of uh baseball. Uh, I did find that a very interesting Seattle Mariners, um very uh very interesting team. Um, so yeah, let's go dive into the game. But of course, I'm here for you guys. Uh, we've got about an hour and ten minutes, so we're not going to get too much done. Uh, but if there's anything you want from me, want to ask me, um, or want to tell me, that's what uh, we are here for. Right, let's go. Oh yeah, and if, uh, when we raid out, oh my god, we need some. Uh, I need a freaking cam up in here. Come on, come on now. There we go. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's what we get. Five dollar webcam, folks. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Um, I think that's a decent position. It'll do. Uh, so yeah, as I said earlier, I need to get a workout in after stream. Make up for yesterday's poor performance, but uh, I will be uh, I will be around for uh, lurking in tubers stream. And as soon as I've done my workout and I'll be back in several hours later, showered and eating my dinner and all the rest of it, then I will be um around uh, jumping back on the raid train wherever we may be. Okay, so our list of jobs to do, we'd um. We basically like done everything. I was like, you, you, you know, like any RPG. It's the case of systematically looking, at, picking up your quests, missions, whatever they may be, uh, and um, you know, heading out, uh, you know, doing them one at a time, uh, and uh, you know, getting your rewards and your money and leveling up. We've basically done everything in the city. So now we've got one. Sorry, got uh, yeah, two, three, a four five quests that are all outside of the city so i was kind of putting those off you know tidy up what we can do it inside and now off we go uh so let's have a look um let's do this one the bone pit or if some of these are in the same area then we'll just do whatever comes along but i'll mark that one some guy is a guy who owns a mine apparently his workers have gone missing he just wants he's paying us to go and find where they're at and uh find out what the situation is apparently other mercenaries have no interest in uh going to this place because they believe it's haunted Sometimes. what are you, what are you, you have the right idea are you banging out about Anders? handcuffs whipped cream always be on top oh i never used to give two bits what anyone thought of me justice once asked me why i didn't do more for other mages I told him it was too much work, uh, but I couldn't go back after that. Couldn't stop thinking about it. Sometimes I miss being that selfish. Huh? Were you talking? Uh, I was still at whipped cream. God, Isabella, she's a saucy one, isn't she? Jeez. As soon as we met her, she was like, yo, you should, uh, you should get in my... Get in my quarters by half past ten this evening. And she's also a pirate. And she's also freaking built, but <laughs> that's uh, neither here nor there. Anyway, um, yeah, here we go. The bone pit. Let's go. Um, hey, Scotty. It's early, early Sunday morning, Scotty. Is uh, the big conflux raider train. Oh, nice, Liz. Are you excited or are you nervous?
<laughs> Indeed. Hey, Steve Hotproud, how are you doing there, sir? Are you well? Oh. Can I sit here? Of course you can, Steve. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for that follow there, sir. Um, my name is Is. Welcome in. I won't do the spiel. Uh, Steve, I saw that you were in uh, Malejo's stream earlier. Um, but yeah, hang around for the raid train, buddy. We're heading out in about an hour to go see Tuba Swan. Any questions, sir? You just get at me and I shall endeavour to provide you with any answers you require. Um, sorry, what's that? $100 tickets for a baseball game? What What baseball game is this? This ground is cursed. Oh. Only wretched or ignorant souls would linger here. So what are you saying, Fenris? You, you calling me wretched or you calling me ignorant, mate? Hey, buddy. Hey, don't walk away from me, son. What did you just call me? <laughs> Being silly. Uh, oh, yeah, let's pull out our pet dog as well. That's Chocobo dog. That's uh, Grand Choco for short. That's um, a Scoo's uh, suggestion there to name him. Uh oh. Bearded Beast. Arantol's Remains. Okay, quest updated. I don't know who that is we're looking for. That doesn't matter. We'll sort that out later. The bone pit. Sort that out later. Ago, slaves that dropped dead from exhaustion were thrown into a pit for all the others to see. Oh. It served as intimidation and convenient disposal. Wow. That's quite dark, isn't it? So there's, there's slaves up in here. I just assumed they were actually like paid workers, but maybe that's not always been the case. Oh my god. Right, we've got you good. looters, eh? I think I put Doggo away by accident. Silly me. So we're only playing on normal difficulty setting. So, unless I do s stupid things, the combat shouldn't be that difficult, basically. There is a... You can play this on hard or even nightmare mode. But, um... You know, I'm, uh... There's also an easy setting if you kind of want real easy combat where you don't really need to, um... Be too concerned about anything. Um... Not random armor. Uh, but we're playing on normal. I'm not a fan of playing games on easy for the most part. But I feel for the sake of uh, the channel, we don't need to play on hard. We just we want we're just trying to experience and tick games off here. Not we're not like challenge run world record speedrunners or anything like that. We're just we're just experiencing the game. Okay, random ring. Let me get the loot first, and then I'll uh, take it from there. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, that nice one, Liz. That's all right, isn't it? That's really not... Uh, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, here we go. Our inventory. Uh, oh, hell yeah. Hell freaking yeah. Yeah, that's a massive upgrade on what we've currently got. Right, there you go, Hawk. Uh, and we picked up a ring as well, didn't we? Oh, and a belt, apparently. Uh, five stamina. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, <laughs> that's only good for anyone who just has a, a spare slot at this point, I feel.
so yeah, playing on normal. Basically, you you set um your characters up with like like your own custom AI for them. So you determine how they function in combat, what they do and when they do it, and it kind of the game takes care of it itself. You can pause the combat at any time and then um give uh, specific instructions, which I'm sure if you play on Nightmare, you would absolutely need to do that, but like I say, for us here, I'm not too uh not too worried about that. Cool new elf fruit, perfect. Oh, yeah, magic staff, eh? Just in the rubble there. Now, if um, if this is better for uh, for Anders here, then that's just embarrassing. But yeah, that's not his fault. We'll see. <laughs> oh yeah, of course we've got several magic staffs I picked up, which are potential new new improvements for Anders. But he uh, he doesn't have the stats to uh, use them yet. Okay, yeah, all the same. Uh, uh, um. Got to get his magic up to 21. Uh, which is hopeful. Hawk just leveled up there. Which means the others won't be too far behind. Okay, so... Um, we're going to try and get a constitution up to 20. Round that off. That first. Now, what should we... Uh, put your points into? Here, Hawk. Right, it's uh, an upgrade there for the uh, Mighty Blow. Oh, okay. Now crushes enemies of a, of a mage just made brittle. Now I don't... I don't know that I've... Uh... Seen our, anyone have that debuff yet, brittle. Sounds like something you would get if you got, like... Will the uh, target of like an ice elemental attack, something like that, like being frozen, does extra damage, uh, which is good. Sounds good. Um, although sneakily, there it gives a minus five second cooldown on it as well. So I might just get it just for that, or could get whirlwind, which is obviously is what, you, what it sounds like. Uh, <laughs> um. Or we could get on our Reaver abilities. Or uh, any any host of these other various uh, skill trees. I think for now... Um, I think for now we'll go for uh, whirl, whirl, Whirlwind. Give us an extra attack to use our uh, with our stamina. Um, I wanted to uh, get our sign to a key though. Um... We'll do that there. And, uh, okay, we've got that. Pommel strike there, which is... Um, I guess it's, I'm sure it's fine. Less inclined to use it. It does stun enemies for a bit, so it can save you a bit of damage, but... You know, kind of more defensive ability, but I think the uh, the others at the top here are the whirlwinds is going to be far more useful. Right, <coughs> we're just having a look around the outside here before we head into the mine. <coughs> See if we can uh, find anything just lying around. Of interest, or maybe not of interest. Oh, Liz, they've got you training people at work. Hello, hello, hello. Is it a uh, promotion time? Pay rise, or something like that. Oh, um, hmm. I guess technically they're better. So we're looking at 30 armor or 29 armor and 17 attack. Now attack, it's a bit weird how they're doing the Dragon Age games. Attack sounds like it'll do more damage. At your attack stat is actually your accuracy stat, if that makes sense. Uh, and they also have um, a defense stat. And you're like, oh, that means I take less damage. No. 
I guess in a roundabout way to do. That's your evasion. So I find that to be a bit of a, you know, you, uh, you, once you know, you know, it's not a problem, but I feel they could have worded them better. You know, attack to me sounds like it does more damage. Defense to me sounds like, you know, you're, uh, gonna receive less damage. No, no, there are, they're accuracy and evasion. Yeah, and I don't read all the documents and stuff. Um, this foul wind coming from that cavern. I smell death. Dear Fenris. Okay, well, hold your breath. Or something, buddy, because we've got to go in here. So maybe they're all dead. Who knows? Well, that doesn't sound good, does it? Let me do a little save, because uh, I don't have a clue what I'm walking into. Um... Yeah, I've never really been in a sports kind of person. I am quite fond of martial arts. I do enjoy UFC in theory. Uh, and when I got into it many years ago, I um I went back and watched all the old ones and all of Pride, and then uh, was like up to date and was watching how they released. And I think it was at the point where there's like a new one every two weeks, even if maybe even one every what once a week. And there's just one particular. Uh, UFC, which was really, really terrible. The fights were awful. There wasn't one good fight. And I was like, I can't even bother with this anymore. I'll do somewhat keep in the loop with uh, what f who, who's fighting and stuff. And occasionally, I will even watch a UFC, random UFC with casual mer. But I just don't have time for it nowadays. That's just one sport. Oh, dragons. Oh, look at them. They're like... Okay, so at least we uh we see what the problem is. <laughs> I do apologize if Squidge was here. Uh she loves dragons and now I've just murdered some. So that was self defense though, folks, you saw that, right? I wasn't like, yo, let's kill these dragons. I was like, eh. Dragons are attacking us. Now, the dragons do get bigger than that. They, they, uh... Much bigger. But, um... You do find a lot of uh, baby ones running around as well. Hey, we find Lyrium, crafting resource. Yeah, sorry, Liz. But, the... I mean, typically, there are exceptions to this, but typically in, in Dragon Age, dragons, they're not magical or special. They are just essentially winged, winged dinosaurs. They are just creatures like, you know, fantastic, very powerful, flying, fire-breathing creatures, but they are just creatures which will just attack and try to eat humans when they see them, so... You forgive me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Liz. I appreciate that. Now, look, we... No, we, we were here on a job, Scotty. You know, we've, we're, we've got to investigate this mine. You know. It's not... It's not even close to being uh, my fault. Honestly, sir. Now, you see... um, You can probably see on the mini-map in the top right there. Looks like there's a passageway through this... uh that doorway which is obviously blocked off so we can't go that way um at some point in the future we'll go to some other cave or dungeon which will not be this mine will be somewhere else and it will use the exact same map they will just copy and paste it and then they'll just uh unblock that door and block off another door so it's, it has the appearance of being different that's the laziness i'm talking about but not too much we can do about it, basically. 
It's, yeah, it's taking the streamline to an nth degree. Where's uh, Choco? Stop banishing. He's not that useful, to be fair. But <laughs> he's n I feel that the uh, the doggo in the first game was more useful than the doggo in the second game. But you you know you want every advantage at, at your disposal, don't you? Oh, there we go. Look. <laughs> It just came out of nowhere. Let's finish this. This is my favorite part. Is that right, Anders? It's his favorite part. Murdering little dragons. Helm of Victory. Oh, that sounds rather cool. Everyone likes victory, don't they? Yo, Rock! How you doing, bro? You all right? Okay, I've got a random little ring there. What's going on, sir? How's life treating you? Oh, damn. I mean, I feel, yeah, that's overall superior. I don't know if it suits you any better, their uh, fork, but let's rock it. There we go. Like this, like um, they've streamlined like the junk treasure. It's all in its own category, and you can sell it all in one go, and it literally has no purpose. Looks like we made it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Looks like it doesn't, Anders. <laughs> um, you got a hangover. I'll tell you what, Rock. I don't have a hangover, but uh, I was uh, drinking yesterday. Uh, a little bit. Not too much. Uh, first time in a uh, while. Uh, here we go. Let's get some... Give Fenris some more strength, I feel. And... What should we what should we get for you, buddy? Oh yeah, we've got his uh his own special ability, his Lyrium Ghost. So what's that? Veneer of calm. Maintains an appearance of calm. It's only a facade. Every wound he takes stirs at his deeply buried resentment, increasing his attack damage. Ah, okay. Damage up to fifty percent inverse proportional to health. Uh yeah, that's pretty good. In fact, did um I think that's exactly the same as the Reaver one. The Hawk's got the Blood Frenzy. Yeah, it's basic. Yeah. It's the same ability. It's just named differently. So we'll give him that. Obviously, better to keep, stay healthy. But if you are taking a beating, having a, a damage output increase could, uh, you know, could win you the fight. And it, the fact that it's... Um, proportional to the damage you've taken if he's about to die he'll be uh much like hawk they'll be doing uh you know putting out a decent amount of damage oh little dragon he's just cool if we kill them we get their stuff if we kill them we get their stuff <laughs> isabella <laughs> Oh, got some behind. Oh my god. You're right there, Anders. Where to now? I mean, onwards in the direction we were going. <laughs> they do say some funny things. Um,. Uh, Liz, thank you for the luck. Um, but yeah, hope hopefully uh, you recover, uh, Rock. But yeah, how you doing, buddy? You enjoying your life? Everything going good? I hope so. Um, 
Excellent, Rock. Yeah, we've been taking a little break from it for a bit. But yeah, definitely. Don't feel pressured to have a, be on cam for stream. You know, I know good streamers who are not uh, are no cam streamers. Slight of Games, probably my favourite. Um, he does a very good job of it. But it is my personal preference. You know, if, I go, if I'm watching somebody stream, I do want to see them. Don't make me a creepy weirdo. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> uh, like, for example, I say Slight of Game. I think he does an excellent job as a no-cam streamer. I think I would enjoy his stream even more if he was on cam. I don't think it takes anything away. I think it only adds something. But yeah, good good on you, Rock. Do it, buddy. Um, uh, really? It used to be the opposite, Seven. Like, back in the day, nobody was on cam. And then the first person did it, and they were like, you know what? And everyone's like, what? You weirdo. And they're like, yeah, bring it on. It's personal preference, isn't it? There's no right or wrong. It's just that's my personal preference. You hit like my grandmother. <laughs> Imagine telling a little dragon that... Ah, you hit like my grandmother. What? The dragon's not, not even understanding what you're saying. Here we go, magic. So we need one point of magic. But let's um let's give him three points, you know. Right, Anders, we wanna we're trying to buff out your uh, heals here. Which is heals are fine. We've got the haste ability there. Plus fifty percent attack for party members. But only last ten seconds, which is um kind of annoying. And you can upgrade this last twenty seconds. Different to how it works in the first game. You could basically have that uh yeah, sort of like a, a sustained ability where it's active all the time. Uh you know, if you're sacrificing a proportion of your magic. But let's see what else you've got here, uh, Anders. Aid allies. Learn to great deal about healing. We're on a hospice, um and play those skills to heal the whole part of the single spell. And I see it must be active. Yeah. Uh, health regeneration, 25% for all party members. That's pretty good. What's this? Vengeance. Um, yeah, now, this is probably less to my personal desires here. Play style. And this game is a measure of control over the spirit within. His attack and spells inflict much more damage and becomes able to cast uh, Martyr, but he's able to, he's more susceptible to damage and cannot be healed. Cannot be used at the same time as Panacea, which uh, gives everybody a health regen. You know, so it's like, I guess if he was in your party and you don't, kind of don't want him as a healer, that would be good. You just want him as a, strictly as a damage dealer. That would be pretty good, but not really for our purposes. So I guess we'll give him... Um, we won't, actually, we won't get him haste, so we've got a few options. Um, Arcane Shield, we could go for, or Elemental Weapons, or um, Death Siphon is very nice. Uh, oh, Primal. Rock Armor, I bet that's pretty good. Um, yeah, there's interesting stuff there. Very interesting. Um, let's go for Elemental Weapons. That's a sustained mode. We put it on his tactics. That basically gives the whole party, you know, an element on their weapons for uh, part of his uh, mana pool. So I uh, I feel that's definitely a, a, a permanent upgrade. Activate mode. Element weapons. There we go. We'll move that up at the top here. Make sure that's always on the go. You may not cast it until we get into our next fight. That's fine. Hey, Legion Cage. You well. A whole month have you, Liz. That cigarette. Good on you. And no vaping either. Bloody hell, Liz. That's amazing. Oh, you're needy. Like what? Like me, Seven. 
need is need the needy attention whore. Yeah, or 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 an attractive female. No, that's as they should. You know, maybe the maybe the first cam streamer was an attractive female, and they were like, "Oh my god!" All the boys came to the yard. How you doing, Lee? Like I do for Cage's stream. Not that Cage is uh, female, but you know, you know what I'm saying. I didn't call him sexy boy for nothing. Liz, that's so, so satisfying, isn't it? Because you can tangibly look. Be like, oh, look at these earbuds that I've got. That if I'd been smoking, I wouldn't have got. So not only have I got healthier lungs, I've also got these fancy earbuds that I would not have had otherwise. Yeah, good on ya. Uh, Gallows Slave Finger Cuffs. Doesn't sound good. Doesn't sound like something you want to put on your finger. Let's have a look at it anyway. But it's amazing. <laughs> uh, well, kind of amazing. Seven health and nine defense. I mean, what have you currently got, Anders? Yeah, I mean, probably, uh, I'm going to go for that. And then we'll, um, wait, did I take the wrong ring off him? Oh yeah, I probably want the uh uh mana regen. It's probably more appropriate on Anders. Okay, we'll give that to somebody else. I swear to god I'm a, I'm a bit of an idiot at the minute. Never mind. There we go. Doing what we need to do. And slowly but surely. Yeah, let's give it to uh, Fenris. He seems to be not tanking, he's got no abilities to tank, but he seems to be drawing uh, most of the uh, most of the enemies seem to be going for him, so we'll give that to him. And uh, I guess we'll give him that as well. Why not? These All these, uh, you know, these items are very minor. But we're still in the early stages of the game, so... Um, heading to D&D... &D? I thought, uh, I didn't realise you were getting much time to do the D&Ds nowadays, uh, Cage. Good on you. No, fair enough. <laughs> won't make everyone hate you. Well, I won't hate you. And I would hope nobody here would hate you, Seven. But I understand the need to be careful in what you say nowadays. Um, no, Cage is definitely not female. Definitely. He's starting up again. Who's, are you the DM? Oh no, did you say Murr is the main uh DM? I think uh I think you mentioned that. Yeah, who's the who's the core group? That's, f that's so cool. I do miss Dungeons and Dragons. Although I say I miss it, I guess I've never really played like a, a good a good Dungeons and Dragons campaign. It was just me, my brother, and like one or two buddies from like ages. At my age, ages like 12 to 18, 19, on and off. A bit of this, a bit of that. It was just kind of like silliness. It wasn't... No, we took it seriously. But a child taking something seriously isn't the same thing as an adult. Adult taking something seriously. You see what I'm saying? But there's so many... There's too many barriers for me to get back into it. I have no resources. I have no money to get resources. I have no time. I don't have a group. Even if I had all those things, I would have certain stipulations of the of the group. Like I'd people say, "Oh, we did a little one shot." I said, "What? Why are you fucking wasting your time with that?" I want a campaign that never ends. Is there a DM out there who can provide that on a regular basis? And you know, not me, not our community but there's a lot of wishy-washy people around nowadays you know who who will say they'll commit to something but won't actually commit to something <sighs> too many barriers of entry but i would love it 
I would love it. I'd also, I, you know, I would, I would, I would equally, almost equally, love to be DM or um, or a player. I think by there's a tiny de preference degree of preference for DMing, but the workload to be a DM, a good DM, I, I would have to give up streaming. The Isnip Show would have to die for me to have the time to commit to that. Who knows? Never say never. We're all young. We've all got, like, the rest of our wonderful lives ahead of us. You don't know what the future holds. We shall see. Um, uh, ah, excellent. Well, have a good time, Cage. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Um, uh, what's not... What's not... Sorry. Seven more little one there. What's not the, uh, the DM? It's the players that are the problem. The commitment... I don't know, yeah, yeah, I mean, either way, probably both. It depends, doesn't it? It depends on the group. Depends on the DM. Price Who's this? Trust you came along. Then you don't know me. Then would have sniffed me out for certain. Uh, hold on. What happened here? I'll tell you what I can, but be a friend and keep your voice down. There's another dragon close by. Uh. Yeah. Any other survivors? Did anyone else manage to escape? Some of my fellows ran for the surface. I hope they made it. I don't think they did. Yeah, and what exactly? How did the dragons get Where did the dragons come yeah. from? We was mining a new tunnel when the wall collapsed and dragons came through. It was a bloody slaughter. Scared out of my wits. I ran like my ass was on fire. It probably was. Only I went the wrong way. Ended up trapped here. Well, that going the wrong way, buddy, saved your life because everybody else who went the right way is now dead. Um, all right, so they were just basically mining, and they, they they just happened to tap into you know a cave that had dragons in, nesting, and the dragons were like, "Oh, lunch has arrived." <laughs> okay, I'm not going to be the dick to this guy. You should get out of here. Don't have to tell me twice. You should leave too. But don't go that way. There's this huge dragon. Ah. I'd wondered if the dragons left their nest unguarded. Hmm. Huge dragon, eh? I don't know if we're ready for huge dragons. We're handling these little dragons alright, but... I can always save it and give it a go. Oh, okay. Some more uh, gallows finger cuffs, eh? Yeah, no, the commit... So, yeah, Seven, you need the commitment from the players. But... <sighs> there's different calibers of DM. And you guys know me. I like to do things a certain way. The best way. Like, I... I know, but for myself, I'm not, like... Um, I'm not really good at necessarily, like, writing a storyline or characters... And deciding what is going to be going on. Not that I like to. I don't like to force players down a route. I like to just let them decide what they're doing, work it out for themselves. But um, I feel like I do a decent job. Be you know on on the being in the moment as the DM, making you know keeping things ticking over. Um, you know, doing enough but not doing too much. That I'm, I feel I'm pretty good with. But yeah, the level of work with it is. Uh... But yeah, there's nothing worse than that. If you, if you know, if I or someone else put all that work in, and then your players like a flake on you, you're like, what do, I, what do I even bother? You know. Um, but as a player, there's nothing more frustrating than having a flaky or not very good DM. You know. Is what it is. Um, 
hardcore casual that's the way better take it seriously that's the thing i, I think it's better to not be regular but to be, be seriously committed to the process um uh in what way seven i'm interested to hear that A mature dragon, eh? Okay. I mean... I'm certainly doing damage to it and not... dying immediately. Oh, no. He stunned us all. Can we get some... Uh, Heals over here, Anders. Even it all on me. I got what you need right here. How about you? Anders. Get some heals from you, buddy. Anders. Any chance of some heals, bro? Oh, his his heals on a cooldown. Oh, that's that sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, never mind. I can't really, can't really blame him then, can I? For that. All right, Hawk is him taking a nose dive. Oh, bless you, Hawk. <laughs> oh, we killed it. That's what matters. Uh, Hawk had to take an injury, uh, but so be it. <laughs> so close as well big old big boy dragon we're outside so i don't know how they unless they tapped through the wall into just the next valley over which happened to be where dragons are hanging out i guess that's the idea rather than being underground uh right so bow that's useless boots and a belt okay that's cool These dragons have got to drop off uh treasures that's uh that's a given um, you know, let's get this level up first for uh, Isabella. Uh, yeah, cunning first. What we go for? Um, right. Ooh, we got a piratey abilities. Okay, reduces our damage but increases our defense, which is uh, good for survival, no doubt. Let's look at our dual wield abilities first. Right, so we're gonna upgrade our backstab or explosive strike. Let's um let's do a backstab. There we go. Yeah, okay, agreed, seven. I wouldn't do that. And I don't think that's how you should do it. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I believe in the DM creates or takes the world if it's a pre-rendered world and you put the characters in it. The DM should be controlling events, I feel. Um, arguably that can make it so... Um, you know, the actual thrust of the story, which you're kind of there to do, arguably doesn't get done if the players don't twig on what they're supposed to be doing. But I feel, and then maybe this is not what the point of Dungeons and Dragons is, but I prefer, feel that provides more realism. You know, the DM shouldn't be doing anything. The DM is just the, you know, it's basically just the, the power of the universe. Uh, uh, you know, just monitor, monitor, let letting things tick over. So you do, you know, for so that style, you need savvy players. There's no, no hand holding, you know. But maybe that's not what D and D is about nowadays. I don't know. Um, yeah, off the rails immediately. Yeah, that's why I have to be cleverly set up and written. So the first step is handheld, uh, and is you know kind of 
meh. Come on, guys. This is pretty obvious. You should be able to pick up on this. But if they break, you know, I <laughs> I prefer the Morrowind style of questing than the Skyrim style of questing. As in, you can break the quest line. And then you have to deal with the consequences. Um, and of course, yeah, that could uh, lead to a far less cohesive uh, experience. Um, but I feel it's necessary for the sake of freedom. Um, but, you know, I guess there's different ways of looking at it. Um, that's why I feel it requires the most work. Because if you like, if, like, say, if, you've, if you have the uh, players under your thumb, so to speak, and you're guiding them along and essentially stopping them from doing wild shit, um, if they are so inclined to do that, then, uh, then, you know, then they're just, they're not players anymore, they're NPCs. That makes sense. But, you know, I don't know. Um, yeah, and that's, that's what I was coming from. Um, seven in that, um, when I say the DM's got a, a crazy amount of work, that's what I mean. You have to detail and plan out absolutely everything that exists in that space, that sandbox for the players. You know, you need to, you know, geographically everything that exists, um, culturally everything that exists, uh, uh, you know, you know, biologically everything that exists and everything that's happening at every given time. You have to be the god of the universe uh, and res be able to respond to anything that arises. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's a different way of doing it. Uh, maybe that's not what goes on <laughs> in Dungeons and Dragons in 2022. Um, yeah, uh, Scotty, there's a, it takes a long time. It's a lot of listening and a lot of talking. Um, but I, I take a quite... Uh, as a DM, I would take a quite um, hardline stand. So let me ask you this, Seven. What is the standard? There's some kind of combat encounter. Do you allow the characters discuss for 20 minutes what how they're going to deal with it you know as, as a dm i say i would say no it's like this is happening right now real time not quite real time i you know give them a bit of leeway but you know you don't the, the players don't get it's not like dragon age where you get to pause the world and decide what you want to do you know you've got to uh you've got to be on the ball you know, uh, but you know, um, Tuba, how you doing there, bro? Tuba's, uh, done a bit of playing and DMing, to say the least, I'm sure. Um, no, but that's, that's, that's where I would find it difficult, Seven, is that you don't stop them from doing anything, but you are also guiding them in the direction. Yeah, because you can't, you know, you got obviously a DM, you can't turn around to a player and, and they go, I want to do this, and you go, no, you can't do that. That's not how it works, is it? But, um... I don't know. So maybe... Uh, so I think maybe, um... Um... You know, maybe... You're probably right in that regard. And then we go. And again, that's where we disagree. Tactical combat is of great interest to me. Maybe it's not to other people. You know... <laughs> um you know i i'm also hard line with the dice rolls as, as long as you're subscribing to the the rule set that you've got and i don't know how involved dungeons and dragons fifth edition is or how good or what his strengths and weaknesses are but you know if you're rolling a die and someone's dying then oh, someone's dead we're gonna do we're gonna do about it we're gonna do about it maybe you shouldn't have picked a fight with this this thing here do you know what i mean but um um Yeah, I wouldn't say you panic, <laughs> but they do need to be on the ball. But yeah, and I remember when younger, people would be like, um, 
oh right yeah what we're going to do this and we're discussing the, uh, the, the terrain and uh the position of things and like oh if you do this and you do that now of course they can talk to each other in combat but again it has to be in real time uh okay more helmets just lying around all right let's look at all this uh, stuff we picked up but then again like i say i've been out of the loop for a long time and i've never uh had the actual uh satisfaction that i uh have so craved so you know uh anders i think we want to give you this belt don't we buddy there you go uh yeah the rest of it is crap okay um right okay let's uh look at this new stuff okay that's identical to what we've just picked up fair enough uh <laughs> what about the boots oh oh yeah nice boots very nice boots i mean so very nice slight upgrade um march of thunder eh Okay, I guess that's it then. Moving on. Right, there we go. So, done and done. So we can go back to... Uh, we can go back to High Town. Speak to this... Uh, the owner of the mine. And be like, bro, all your workers are dead. They were killed by dragons. But we killed the dragons. Give us money. But yeah, I ain't doing two. So we are, that is Tubus1 there. We're going to be heading over to him in uh, probably about 20 minutes or so. Let's make sure you're ready for us, Tubes. So we're we going to be coming. Be mages into Vinter who don't use blood magic. Of course, there are slaves. But the Magisters do not hesitate to collar their own kind. But no Magisters. Why must you go on about this? No Magister would turn down an advantage over his rivals. If he did, he'd be dead. You know, to use blood magic, you need to look a demon in the eye and accept his offer. I just figured some of them would say no. Yeah. For aesthetic reasons, if nothing else. Yeah. yeah, I don't think they care enough, Anders. Anyway, Hubert. I solved your problem. So, we? what <laughs> happened? <laughs> One of the miners told me you rescued him from dragons. I cuffed him for lying. Well, he wasn't. Go there and see the corpses for yourself. But I thought they're extinct. I believe you. You made them extinct again? If it is safe, the miners can return to work. Uh, they won't be safe! None of our business. It's, between, it's him and his thing. Don't have him. Yeah, it should be fine. I got all the dragons. Should be safe enough for now. Let us discuss your payment. You have been a great help. Yeah, several goals, Since I think. Since you did so much more than I was expecting, how about we work together? I am offering a 50-50 share in the mine. What? You will make us both rich if you can keep your countrymen safe. Ah. Interesting. He's offering us a 50-50 share in his mine. Hmm... Now, obviously, the miners, they're not slaves, but they're not treated very well. Well, I suppose maybe if we get involved, we can help out with that. Um, yeah, no, exactly. You know, indeed, Seven. I just like the idea of it being uh, long running and having that freedom there. Um, but yeah, the amount of... I don't have that amount of work in me and I don't know another DM who also does. Um, it's, it's tricky. I don't know. Maybe it's... Maybe I'm just... I've got weird standards <laughs> of what I feel is appropriate. Um, yeah, why are you so generous? This is... Why would you share half your business with me? I spent a decade honing my business instincts in Valroyo. I once sold a seat cushion to Empress Selene. Wow. Simply put, I have a good feeling about you. So, what do you say? Hmm.
I mean, getting involved in business. I don't know. Um, I mean, if, if we're taking this, that we will be the muscle if needs be, and he can do the, the business side of things, and he's going to give us half the money. Um, yeah, I want the... Uh, I guess we're, we're not going to say no. That would be weird. As long as I'm paid up front. He can't really pay us up front, though, can he? I mean, I guess he could give us some money first. Do it for the workers. Yeah, I, I do... I'm inclined for us to have slightly less profits to look after the workers a bit more, but... Um, I'm not like a bleeding heart here. Give me some... You know, I need some money now, bro. If you want my help, you'll pay for my services in advance. Uh, You're both tough and shrewd. Very well. I had some money set aside for safety equipment, but it is yours instead. Oh. So, to <laughs> our first order of safety business, equipment's out the window. We'll replace the lost workers. I will hire new hands. Plenty of desperate Ferelden's out there, but it will take some time. I need you to convince the surviving miners to return. They are holed up in Low Town. Tell them the Bone Pit is safe again. I'll see what I can do. Three gold. Uh, Here to sell today, guardsmen. My shipment's late. I mean, okay, so now we're, uh... So, <laughs> we took money for the safety equipment. Oops! Not what I was really intending. But there we go. Here we are. Uh... <laughs> Convinced the remaining miners to return to work. We found uh, by day in Lotan near the Hanged Man. Okay. I guess we'll uh, we'll go do that. Try and wrap this up. Yeah, <coughs> I don't mind um, <coughs> if in the future investing money into the mine to um, you know, to help out the workers. That's the best thing to do for a business. Take care of your workers. The workers will take care of the business. Yeah. But right now, I do need to save up 50 gold to get this expedition underway. I enjoy a man with markings like that. Yeah. You've enjoyed many, I suspect. Yeah. Where I come from, they're called tattoos. Sailors get them all the time. Not made of lyrium, I'd imagine. No. <laughs> Not a one. And the pictures are different. Usually breasts. Yeah. I suppose a pair of lyrium breasts tattooed onto my chest would make things better. That's me. I'm a helper. Yeah. I was... <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Okay. If you say so. If you say so. What's that there? Have the copied leaf. Take back our streets. Oh, right. Yeah. This is um. The the free marchers against refugees etc um i don't think we need to buy anything oh i need to equip his bloody staff don't i that's what i forgot about anders we equipped everything else but not his uh new magic staff here we go so we've got a few choices i think it's all exactly the same that's the one we want the fire damage that damage doesn't really matter but um the uh Stamina, uh, the uh, the mana regen rate. There we go. Perfect. Right, okay, let's sell all our junk. Um, I don't know if we need any of this. Oh, that will stash because uh, it's not worth anything. I'm going to that bell. It might actually be useful for someone. There we go. I'm going to uh, sell all junk. Yeah, I've done on time about 10 minutes. Let's go and go find these guys. And if they're going to be like, Oh, no, we don't want to go back to work. You know what's going to happen, don't you? And let's try to fight with us. And we're like, we're... Three children to feed. Yeah, where are they? Where are your three children? Where, are... Bro, where are your three children? You're just sat there. Idiot. Hey, this one that rescued me from them dragons. 
A fellow for Elden, no less. Indeed. Oh, eyes on her face, you lush. No. A thousand thanks for saving Jensen's worthless hide. No. Worthless, am I? My farm supplied eggplant half of the South Reach. Yeah? You guys My are drunk. eggplant supplied half the bastards in South Reach. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're a real hero. Now, what brings you here? Uh, yeah, you've had your fun. Uh, yeah, now it's time to put the fist down. Excellent, this. It's uh, because they're drunk. We are, we're their boss now. Get back to work. Break's over. You've got jobs to get back to. Come back to that blight taking hole? I need work, but I don't need to be some dragon's dinner. The dragons are gone. What if there's more dragons later? Or something worse, like, uh, bigger dragons? I go back to the missus without this job. She'll rip me apart, sure as any dragon. What can we do? That bastard Hubert is the only one willing to hire us. You work for me now. You bear sold me half the mine, so expect some changes. Really? Oh, be nice to work for one of our own. If you don't give us a fair shake, who would? Yeah. The safety Back equipment's gone. Work, boys. I'm happy to take more of Hubert's coin. All right. Yeah, you do that. Resolved. Now, uh. Okay, it's completed. Okay. All right, almost uh, time to head out. Um, let me pick what we're doing tomorrow. Of course, it is uh, Monday tomorrow. The first day of new week on the SNP show. Let's see. Um, uh, right. Yeah, okay. We found the, the person's remains there. And what's that we found? We found that in the uh, mine, didn't we? Eustace as pommel. Judging by the yeah, this pommel. Judging by the teeth marks, uh, was lost in a violent exchange. So from the engraved name, it looks like standard city guard. Ah, the guards guardsman has uh, lost it. There we go. Um. Yeah, so we've got a few more things to do. Now in the city, but also heading back out of the city. But uh, I guess we'll turn that in. But, um, I guess that'll be up at the Viscount's place where the guard's hanging out, which Aveline is now the new guard captain. Only acting guard captain at the minute, but I'm sure she'll, uh, I'm sure she will indeed, um, do a good job and get that full, full, uh, official promotion. Most importantly, she's not corrupt, which in this city... That is saying a lot. Um, yeah, we could probably turn this in right away. I expect. Let's take long, is it? I heard oh. you lost something. This it? You found this? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, that was uh, the simple. She gave us a freaking gold for it. That's wild. Uh. <laughs> That's a lot of money, is a single gold. Um, okay, we'll quickly run over to the uh, docks. I think these dead bodies we've found, we literally just... Uh, it's the same kind of thing, you just literally you have to... Um, to say, oh, sorry, we found your buddy dead. There you go. Right, yes, I don't know what Tuba Swan has planned for this afternoon, morning. God, yeah, it's morning for him. Um, but uh, we will head over there shortly, and uh, it doesn't really matter what Tubes is doing, because he's, uh, he's a gentleman and a joy to uh, spend time with him. Even though he's evil, he's evil, but... You have pretty eyes. Oh. I have pretty eyes. Uh. You elves have such pretty eyes. Even the men. It makes me want to pluck them out and wear them as a necklace. What? I wouldn't suggest trying. Uh. Oh, I would never try. 
Not without reason, of course. Forget I said anything. Isabella, that's freakish. And I, I guess she's only joking, but also that's a weird thing to joke about. Like well, Tuba Swan, he's got pretty eyes, but I don't want to pluck them out of his skull and wear them as a necklace. Jeez. This there fell go. into my hands. Recognize it. This fell into my hands, this corpse of your friend. Dead over this. It's grand to see it again. It's grand to see it again, my friend's corpse. There we go. That's another example right there of the copy paste. That's just some generic dialogue that is putting out a quest end up item returner oh i found your lost item it's his dead friend and he's like oh it's been a while since i've seen this <laughs> what I'm, I'm happy to that you returned this to me you you're the corpse of your friend this you're happy you're happy about it okay you see what i'm saying there's stuff like that which is a little bit uh, jank um <laughs> um so yeah this one here one of the magistrates the politicians in the city Wants us to go to an old ruin outside the sea and find an escaped criminal. Um, aside from any money he may give us, he has clearly indicated that he would, um, you know, help us out in the future as uh, we grow in influence as a resident of the city. Uh, so I'm going to probably save it, we'll get to roughly to an exit. There we go. And we'll save it right here. Now is the time. Here we go. But I tell you, doing a two-hour stream don't last long. But I'm not supposed to be streaming today. I need to. Uh, I need to get a bloody workout in. Atheline, she's a weirdo. Yeah, woman after my own heart. Poots, all right there, poots. Got to keep you waiting there. Let's jump over here for a minute. It's early, early Sunday morning. It is a uh, big conflux rage train. That's what uh, that's what is going on here, poots. Sorry to keep you there, so I was just a bit out of here. Not showered, I've not had enough sleep. I was drinking last night. Um, and how are you doing, Atheline? You're right, my dear. So yes, I will. Uh, we'll send you over to tubes in a minute. Um, I don't know what he's got planned for us. Whatever it will be, it will be fantastic. I'm sure. Uh. I will be uh, probably doing a little lurk tubes. I've uh, I'm gonna do this bloody uh, workout. It wasn't a good one yesterday. It was barely barely even one. Um. <clears throat> so um. Thank you uh, very much to Malejo for raiding. Although obviously it was pre-planned. Uh, <laughs> um. And th thank you for the resub, Malejo. He didn't need to do that, did he? But he did. 15 months. It's been that long. Bless his heart. Uh, thank you very much to World's Decay. Keep an eye out for World's Decay, folks. That is Malejo's uh, elder brother. So, you know, obviously we don't know him, but based on his uh, his little brother, I would expect he's, uh, if, uh, if there's any similarities there, he's probably an excellent dude. He sounded like an excellent dude when we had a little chat with him. Uh, thank you very much to Princess Liz. For the resub 11 months. Bless you. And thank you very much to Steve Hotprow for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. Um, thank you, Af. I need to. Uh, as I said, I, I feel that the problem, Af, was um, that I was like planning, I was already planning to go out. So trying to do a workout like on a schedule. Like, here we go. We've got two hours. Do something. Whereas it, I, I don't know. I'm not good at being on schedules like that. Um, I'm much better open-ended. Now I'm going to do my workout and I can take as long as I want. I don't want it to take all day, obviously, but I haven't got to rush to do it. So anyway, let me just make sure... To I'm sure he is, but let me just make sure Tubes is uh, currently live at this precise moment. He is excellent. Ooh, ba Bowser's Fury. Is that the new... Is that the new survival horror game that was uh, made for uh, for Benjamin? Uh, <laughs> no, thank you, Scott, for being here. Oh, my God. Um, excellent. No, I appreciate you, Liz. I appreciate you and all your support. Um, 
Of course, yes, we shall. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, Monday, um, regular time for day one of a new week of this nib show. We'll get try and get some chonky old progress through Dragon Age Two. Uh, not rushing anything, of course, but um, with the uh, fluidity and um, I feel uh, streamlinedness of the game, I can see us getting through it quicker than the first one. But we shall see. We're, we're doing well. Okay, let me set this right up. Um, so, yeah, do hang around with Tubes and the rest of the raid train today. If you're around, even if you're busy, you know, dr dr uh, drop them a lurk just to uh, show that support. And, yeah, of course, unless it ain't about the conflux, you, there's other streamers out there. You might want to uh, go say hello to them instead. Um, I will be around, obviously, doing the workout for a couple of hours, but um, I'll be around... Uh, in the afternoon. Ah, yes. If anyone's around this evening, when it's Scotty's uh, part of the raid train, he's a uh, community game night. I think they're playing Fall Guys. Um, I'd be interested to be there. A little bit too close to my bedtime by that point. But um, if you're hanging around, go play some uh, Fall Guys with Scotty and the rest of the community. Uh, and yeah, hang around to see all the lovely people today. Um, but if anyone needs me specifically, you know how to get hold of me. Just send me a message on Discord, and I will get back to you at some point. Let's go see uh, Young Tubes. Have a good one, folks. Um, have you played this one before, Joel?